But we all have qualities that make us unique and special, but not any less. It's a valuable concept to grasp, and now it's in the message of a wonderful book. We have it here for you in today's Page Turners. Local author Katrina Roberts joins us. Katrina, glad to have you here with us. Hi, thanks for having me. Yes, okay, well we have your book right here, If You Knew Jordan. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about why you decided to write this book. Okay, um, Jordan my, is my son. Uh, we adopted him through foster care. And he was born with a bilateral cleft palate and lip, and he didn't speak till he was in the fourth grade. And after that, we found out he also has autism and a few mm. other things sprinkled in there. But he really struggled at school um, making friends and kids understanding him because he really couldn't talk. And so his older brother used to bring the football players over after practice, and Jordan was super strong, and he would carry... Uh, the players around the yard on piggy or piggyback, yeah, and yeah. the boys would tackle him, and he just loved it. So he went to first grade, decided he wanted friends, and he couldn't say anything, so he decided to tackle them. Oh. So there's a lot of just misunderstanding about him, and um, I really came to understand that the kids really were just afraid. He w it was different. Mm -hmm. and they just didn't know how to take him. And so there was a particular incident that was really hard. He had his first panic attack on a field trip in Chicago downtown. Parents were gawking and the kids were laughing. And um, for a long time, I had a misperception of maybe who the people were. Mm -hmm. um, but over the years, I understood these are really good people that just don't understand. Yeah. And so I wanted to write his story he and he wrote a letter in it. We wanted to um, just help people understand mm -hmm. kids with disabilities better. So when someone picks up their copy of this book, mm -hmm. what will they find when they dive into it? Okay, there is a letter to teachers um, to kind of help if there's, you know, to help kids under, that don't have disabilities understand that kids with disabilities are not really that different and they don't have to be afraid. Um, there's a letter from Jordan to other children that um, I helped him write just to let them know they're not alone. But the book is in three sections. The first section is there's something special about everyone. And the second section is um, there's something the same, similar in everyone. And then the last section is there's something different about everyone. At the end of each section, there's a little worksheet that's um, what is different about Jordan. And it kind of helps the kids remember what they read. So that's yeah, a good thing. That's so good. And then what's different about you? And then how are you similar to Jordan? Yeah. Or how are you different like Jordan? So. Who would you say this book would be good for? It sounds like it'd be awesome for classrooms and yes. um, or just families that want to have these types of conversations at home. It's a great book for families who have kids with disabilities that are surrounded by lots of cousins and, and friends and stuff, other kids to help understand. Um, we've had small groups use them so parents can help guide their children to better understand kids with disabilities. And it also just really helped, even in the process, help Jordan understand that he's really not that different. Mm -hmm. He didn't have to walk around like he was different than everybody else because he's really not that different. That he just had, he says in the book, it's his words. He said, "I'm not different. I'm just a little quirky." <laughs> I and that's it, really, all? yeah, yes, and, and yes. everybody is. So. Yeah, absolutely. But well, yes, I have a package coming out this summer that w is um, directed towards classrooms cool. that has a poster and different worksheets and stuff. And we're seeing some cool um, little graphics of Jordan that you might find in the book. Um, I love that this is a conversation starter. I think this is a yes. conversation a lot of families, classrooms, teachers maybe mm -hmm. trying to have that don't exactly know how to have this type of conversation. Um, but I think it's so good because I think a lot of times our differences are reasons that we aren't connecting with people, but really, it right. could be the very reasons um, when we find those similarities. How can people find this book um, and maybe connect with you more? It, uh, the book is on Amazon. Okay. The proceeds to the book um, go to a nonprofit, Family First Advocacy, and um, 
Our website is familyfirstcommunity.org. Awesome. Okay, well, we will connect everyone to the website. We appreciate you okay. coming here today and sharing with us a little bit about Jordan's story, your story, and then what went into putting this book together. Some Thank great conversations so will come for this. Yeah, we appreciate you. All right, if you are interested in learning a little bit more about this book, if you knew Jordan, we'll connect you on Sia Living's Facebook page um, with the Amazon address of where you can get your copy. All right, let's check in with Heather.